Hi, I'm Archie. Hi, I'm Sally. Hi, I'm Edward. Today we are going to explain about how oxbow legs are formed. Menders can become so distinct that they develop into another feature, known as an oxbow leg, with consistent erosion along the outer banks of two consecutive menders. The two menders move closer to each other, forming a loop. For time, the loops more distinct and separate by a narrow neck of the land. This neck is getting narrower with continuous conditional erosion and deposition. As deposition and erosion continue to take place along the inner and outer band respectively, the two minder eventually unit. The sediment deposited will eventually dam up the water in the cutoff, forming an oxbow lake. The river will now flow in a straight path for a short distance before it begins to minder again. Oxbow lakes are generally temporary features, as it is cut off from the main river the oxbow lakes will eventually dry up due to evaporation, encouraging the growth of vegetation.